Hi, I'm Jeff Price. Welcome to Survivor, Cumberland Faculty 2011. Before we get started, I want to remind you about the government honors. Wait, I'll, I'll just send you 15 emails about that. I'm really yeah. so excited, you guys. Yeah. It's going to be so much fun. I just want to be adversely. Oh. I wonder who that could be. Oh, it's an email from Jeff Price. Weird. It's about an unpaid internship in Oregon. I'm from Washington. That's better. Welcome to Cumberland's beautiful campus. Let's see who our competitors are. This particular property can't be ours. This is a good faith that we particularly own this property. Um, unless in this jurisdiction there's a bad faith that we particularly own the particular piece of property. Is that a yes, Miss Green? Well, it depends on the particular jurisdiction that the property has. So, to so that's a yes. Everyone can see this down here. Okay. And again, this is found in your errata that I posted on Twin, but here it is again, so you can have it. Okay. Okay, does that help? I don't really know how to use Twin. Why don't I sell you my automobile for ten thousand dollars? We'll go buy us some goods and build us a tent. I don't care how much Bishop sells his car for. He's only gonna be able to get B plus materials and it's probably gonna leak, even if it had bricks and windows on it too. Everyone is doing such a good job. I posted the rules that I put here on the board on Twin one more time. You can go to my Twin site under Course Materials Royal Survivorship and you can have these um, print, printed out for my next class. And I just think that you're all doing such a marvelous job in grasping these concepts. I know they're difficult, but again, um, you can come see me and I'd be happy to help you anytime. But again, you guys did a marvelous job today, so we're all done. Thank I think we're supposed to be making some sort of alliance or something. All I got to bargain for is change. It's my $10,000 Mercedes. And I don't even know if they got capable parties over there. I mean, heck, Miss Royal looks like she'd be under 18. They should just rescind our alliance. Excuse me, Mr. Bishop. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not sure if you're 
excuse me, Professor Bishop? Yes. Um, it seems that everyone's forming alliances, and everyone just seems so nice, and I really didn't want to do this, but I think we need to form an alliance. Would you like to be in one with me? Well, uh, I like I'd bargain for us. My Mercedes. Okay, so will you sell me your automobile for like uh, $10,000? Yeah, yeah $10,000. Does it have a car seat in it? I just had a baby and he needs to sit in the car seat no. by me. It's wrong. Sorry, but it does. It doesn't have a car seat? No, oh, man. It has no place to put a car seat? No. So my baby can't sit in the car? I'm sorry. I just don't, I don't think we can do this. I don't, I don't think I can be in an alliance with you now. I'm sorry. It's okay. Is that okay? It's okay. Do you think we should add someone else to our alliance? I mean, honestly, everybody else has been giving B-plus effort besides us three. I mean, Bishop's been trying to sell me his car all day. I already have a car. I don't want his ugly Mercedes. Do you think Nelson's trying to adversely possess that land over there? I don't even know what that means. I'm just ready to get out of here. I don't know why we just can't all meet together to figure this out. I mean, seriously, I have so much to do. Look at the time. My daughters have science camp and my dogs. Don't even talk about my dogs. I've got so much to do. Let's just get out of here. When he goes to cross the street, the old lady helps him. When he travels to another city, that city's theme park locks its gate. He is listed as 911's emergency contact number. He is the most risk averse man in the world. Back uh, when I was in college, I was uh, friends with Ted Bundy, yeah, college Republicans, yeah. Remember him, Ted Bundy? Yeah, buddy, college Republicans, yeah. Avoid those risks, my friend. Welcome to the first challenge. The first challenge is a beef bob eating contest. The rules are whoever eats the most beef bombs within five minutes without puking wins. Today's first challenge is brought to you by Cumberland CDO. If you're not in the top 10%, you're out of luck. But remember, there's a lunch with the lawyer next Thursday, and it's a great opportunity for networking. Because let's be honest, OCI doesn't really work. Okay, does everybody know the rules? Yes, we yeah, read yeah. them in the errata. Thank yeah, you. We got it. Thank you. All right. So Ready, yeah. set, go. I don't have time for this. Eat those beef bombs. Oh, goodness. Oh, this particular <laughs> Professor Nelson, what was your strategy in the beef bomb eating contest? Well, uh, when, when I was a little boy in Washington, uh, there was a, a nuclear plant nearby, and it had a meltdown, and all the cows uh, got infected with uranium, and so uh, we drank uh, radioactive milk for about uh, three weeks there, and nobody knew about it. And then uh, when uh, they were given polio vaccines uh, back in the day, uh, I signed up for one because I didn't want to get polio, and uh, my, uh, my doctor gave me the live strand. So... Uh, I'm pretty much immune to anything. I'd, beef bombs are pretty good, actually. Uh, you know, uranium and polio mixed together, and beef bombs just adds to the flavor of it, I guess, you know. We've had a great day here on Cumberland Survivor. Unfortunately, only the top 10% will remain. And guess what? It's not any of you. Each contestant will rank the other survivors on a scale from 1 to 6, with the lowest score going home. So you understand the rules, right? No, yeah, yeah, I got, I got, I got the rules. I know, how, I know how to rank them. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, uh, so, so, you know, I thought uh, Green did a great job. She, uh, she helped us find where to pitch the tent, and it was, it was awesome. Uh, so we gave her an 87. Uh, let's see, uh, Royal, Royal did a phenomenal job explaining how to build a tent. I, it was just explained so well. So I gave her um, an 87. Uh, Bishop. Bishop did a great job creating alliances. Um, you know, he had a lot of good chemistry amongst the members of the group. And so, let's see, I ended up giving him uh, an 87. And then Shook, Shook didn't stay very long, but I thought she was, had a really good attitude while she was here. So, I ended up giving her um, an, 80, an 87. 
And Nelson, he was great, the beef bombs, I was really impressed. So he ended up with, um, with an 87. So everybody did a great job, and we'll see if he gets voted off. Lawyering and Legal Reasoning presents Real Men of Real Genius. Men of genius. Today we salute you, Mr. Unorganized Giver of the B+. Mr. Unorganized Giver of the B+. Your students know no matter how long they work on their brief, they will fare no worse than a B. I did it last minute. You may be head of the English department, but students know their writing will be lost in the eternal abyss of your desktop. Where's my memo? When students come into your office, there's no fear. They hear, this is a great paper, 87. I didn't see that coming. When you give out a fact pattern, your students give up because the lack of precedent even confuses Westlaw. WTF bag so crack open your blue book, O oh, Giver of the B+, and don't even worry about grading those appellate briefs. Just throw them in the fountain and enjoy a day off, because we all know what everyone's grade will end up being. This is unorganized Giver of the B+. Plus. LR Sections 3 and 7, Cumberland School of Law. Thanks to Baggett's stunning voting technique, the voting didn't really turn out as planned. But, as it all turns out, everybody but Nelson got sick from the beef bombs. I guess he really is immune to everything. Thanks for joining us here on Cumberland Survivor. Remember, keep those bikini pictures off Facebook. Ah! Oh, yeah.